for you this afternoon. It's 80 seconds of Winx that makes everyone smile at home. Have a look at Winx and just the adulation surrounding this brilliant man. I feel privileged to be in the oh. presence of her and, and to be able to be so close, Bruce. It's a bit like seeing Farlap in his last campaign. That, that's how I feel. It's not too far away from running the Apollo. Right is on for day one of the farewell tour of Winx. Well, set now, racing. Well, she was the last out of the gates, but boy, you could throw a handkerchief over the mount of the barriers. Who's going to lead here? Tom Belvin's pushing forward, Patrick Arena. Happy Clapper's very handy. Winks has won off the fence, so she can start a trouble from there. Happy Clapper really turns it on to Tom Melbourne. Then it tight, Patrick Aaron. And Winks is four lengths away as they come around the turn. Tom Melbourne, the inside of Happy Clapper. Stride for stride, egg tight third. Winks is starting to chime into it. Bowman still sits pretty at the furlong. Happy Clapper. Cleveland goes for home. But here she comes now, Winks. She just sidles up on the outside, takes the lead, and draws. Shall not weary the champ. Once again, she's haughty and imperious. Winks makes it a third Apollo Stakes. Two. It went to script. Happy Clapper did his bit, but she did just what everybody wanted her to do. She's just a supreme athlete and just a champion. She's getting the most wonderful reception. It's just beautiful. It's like a dream how she continues on this winning streak. It's raising of years gone by. We got a glimpse of it with Black Caviar. Of course, she's set the scene in recent years. Kim Maccabi Divas and now Winks following on from that. It's undescribable for any sport and, and racing. It's exactly what we need. This is a once in a lifetime horse. It's a once in a two centuries of Australian racing horse. So we've never seen anything like it. She feels as good as ever when she just goes whoosh. Yeah, she did. The big story of the day was, could she do it? Could she make it 30 consecutive wins? Well, she did it, and she did it in style.